Zombie Apocalypse. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Hey, salut à tous! On se retrouve sur Jetso Gaming. Donc du coup, on s'était laissé la dernière fois sur l'épisode 3 de Life is Strong. Et on est parti sur l'épisode 4. <coughs> on on s'est laissé la dernière fois sur, euh, sur Chloé qui était trapégique, donc en fauteuil. Donc, euh, je pense que ça va remettre pas mal de choses en, en cause. Ah bon, la recherche de Rachel, déjà, c'est un peu. Peut-être que William est encore en vie aussi. Je pense qu'il y a quand même pas mal de questions, pas mal de, de choses qui ont changé. L'épisode 4, mais comme je fais en plusieurs parties, je sais pas ce coup-ci, il n'y aura pas vraiment de bug de son parce que c'est vrai que c'est quelque chose qui est vraiment à la tête. Et surtout, je ne trouve pas la tête. Enfin, bref, je suis pas là pour vous raconter mes histoires de côté, hein. Donc, voilà. Là, on se retrouve, à mon avis, sur la plage qui est à côté d'un phare. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. 
Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beach whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Par contre, je préviens d'un truc maintenant. Si vous entendez grogner, si vous entendez manger euh, côté ou autre, c'est j'ai juste deux chiens qui m'emmerdent là. Là, c'est terre, ils veulent pas se calmer, ils veulent pas dormir. Ça, c'est chiant. Pourtant, je suis sur la vidéo de nuit. Hein. Ils ont rien à faire. You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap, and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Ah, c'est bizarre, hein? Avant que c'était la rebelle aux cheveux. C'est bizarre. Très bizarre. Et ce qui est bizarre, quand même, c'est que. Elle a eu l'accident avec un mec en 4x4. Qui l'a fait valser dans la fossé. Mais c'est quand même un cas de tête qu'elle avait, euh, bah, qu'on qu l'avait vu, euh, soit, soit chez elle ou autre, enfin, toutes les fois qu'on était en voiture avec elle, quoi, c'était quand même un cas de tête qu'elle avait. Ça me semble. Je t'avais pas beaucoup remarqué d'ailleurs, mais je me sens que c'était avec elle. Hein. Enfin, bref, c'était une petite idée d'épicité. Du coup, elle vit dans le garage. Enfin, elle vit dans le garage. Elle vit dans la pièce oh, de garage. C'est pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky. My parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic. You know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. 
But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in our own life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, <laughs> even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can you pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Cody, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when we'd spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Well, let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Uh, Max, it was so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate en force. Ça ne régale plus la danse et la danse. Alors, uh, uh, here's the DVD. Okay, the DVD the DVD. Uh, le, ouais. le DVD dans le DVD, c'est plus sympa, plus simple, plus rich. Et là, elles sont dans toutes les deux, c'est ça Oui, ça va bien, les artistes. Et 
Et oui, il y en a Max qui est endormi. Et nous allons avoir tout et aussi. Ah non. Non, non, d'accord. Il y a que Chloé qui ne dort pas. Ou qui est déjà réveillé, je sais pas. Là, on va pas I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just rookie kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. You're the pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Okay. On va aller faire l'infirmière. Alors, je sais que la salle de bain est en haut, juste en face de la chambre de feu. Pas souvent ce soir, Max t'es fâché, je voulais juste être, juste être sûr de partir si vite. Nathan est inquiet aussi, si tu veux parler, passe-moi un coup de fil. Je pense que le cas c'est bien ok. Je t'adore, Max t'es en colère, dis-moi ok. Séance radio, bon si tu veux parler, je suis là. Je t'adore, ma chérie. Ah ouais, quand même, euh, trois messages comme ça en 4 minutes. Ouais, ok. Victoria, t'es macro, apparemment. Alors, du coup, je vais pas me mettre truc. Damn, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Retard de paiement de 8185 dollars. Ah oui, quand même. Ah oui, quand même, ça rigole plus. On va parler un petit peu avec William. Hey, William. Oh. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max, I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William? I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Donc, ça veut dire, en fait, au départ, vous pensez que Rachel était partie à cause de Chloe, enfin, Normalement, Chloé devait partir avec elle, etc. Et, tout. et du coup, Chloé n'a rien à voir avec la disparition. 
caution. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Et vous n'avez pas répondu à nos multiples demandes de paiement de consolidation de votre dette. Si vous refusez de nous verser la somme de 12 000 dollars sous 15 jours, nous serons forcés de céder à votre propriété. Nous considérons vous avoir envoyé un nombre suffisant de rappels et nous, et nous nous voyons donc dans l'obligation de prendre les mesures nécessaires. Putain, ça va être quand même horrible. C'est vachement hard. Je suis tout dehors. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Choices of food coupon boss. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Nous avons clôturé notre compte commun qui se trouve en situation d'impayé depuis 6 mois avec nos renvoyés par chèque comme transférer la somme de 3 000 euros. Euh, en raison des coupures budgétaires récentes, nous sommes en regret de cette faute mutuelle. De santé n'est plus en mesure de couvrir les frais de l'éducation publique de Chloé. Nous, nous pouvons verser Chloé au tarif standard de 1250 dollars par semaine. Putain, ça a un coût vraiment, putain, la vache. Alors, vous savez tous que ça a un coût, mais. Euh... Voilà quoi. C'est quand même énorme, je trouve. Et du coup, moi, je suis curieuse de savoir qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans la chambre de, bah, de Chloé, entre guillemets, je peux dire. C'est plus sa chambre, quoi. Qu'est-ce qu'on peut dire, quoi. Ouais, je sais qu'on m'envie, ils ont rien fait, quoi. Ok, les cartons, je pense que c'est plus qu'à ça. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Merci d'avoir tenu au courant de la santé de Chloé. Je ne peux qu'imaginer ce que vous êtes en train de vivre. William et toi, je suis vraiment navré de ne pas pouvoir trouver plus d'argent cette fois. Je coule sous les factures médicales moi aussi, comme beaucoup de monde. Embrasse Chloé bien fort pour moi. Je vais me lever sur la tête de la tante Dorothy. Ouais, et puis ils demandent l'argent même de leurs proches, etc. C'est des boîtes. J'ai jamais entendu beaucoup de William's brother. Oh, c'est le frère de William. Désolé de n'avoir pas pris de nouvelles depuis l'accident. Le boulot s'est accumulé. On va bientôt m'envoyer à Slackplex City. Non, Slackplex City. C'est un truc, c'est ça. Pour superviser la construction d'un parking, ces temps-ci, il faut aller où se trouve le travail. J'aurais aimé pouvoir t'envoyer un chèque plus conséquent, mais tu sais ce que c'est. L'argent ne compte pas les revues. Je vais pouvoir venir vous rendre visite au printemps prochain. Ouais, on demande de l'argent partout. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. Who am I to judge? Ça 
un peu, ouais, c'est un peu la question, est-ce qu'on est, est, qu est juge ou pas ou... Parce qu'à part, euh, à la base, on était quand même pas l'attention, moi, je veux dire, euh, attention quand même de, de, de refaire une petite année, entre guillemets, pour... Je suis sûr que c'est une totale coïncidence. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Nothing here. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Okay, okay. Et bien, moi, je vais voir la porte quand même. Ah, on a Joyce qui est là. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Ah, il y a deux personnes qui sont là, tout de suite. Joyce is already a super mom. Prenez votre famille en main. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Oh. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except... Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Mm, Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much. And she can't stand sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... Uh, she do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one, no matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, I'm lucky to have him. Uh, 
Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Ok, ok. Eh ben écoutez, on aura parlé à William, on aura parlé à Chloé, et on aura parlé à Joyce. Donc moi je vais vous laisser là, les gamers. Donc on va se retrouver pour la deuxième partie du coup du chapitre, enfin, du chapitre de, de l'épisode 4 de Life is Strange. En espérant que ça vous a fait plaisir de retrouver Max, Chloé, Joyce, William. Enfin, le jour lui-même, c'est vrai que ça nous fait un bon personnage, ça m'a manqué, ça va vraiment un peu chiant de jouer. Malgré que, ben voilà, on, <rire> on retrouve Chloé handicapée, c'est vrai que c'est pas forcément les plus joyeux, mais comme on dit, c'est la vie. On verra bien ce qui nous réserve les prochains, les prochains épisodes. Allez, bientôt les gamers!